Hey guys, so today I'm going to be watching something nobody really requested and something that I just stumbled upon on my own. Today I'm going to be watching Where Hands, Where Hands Touch, Touch. Um, and it stars Amandala Stenberg. As we know, Amandala has a odd reputation in the industry. I don't really have that big of an issue with her. I just like making fun of her because the movies she's done are kind of questionable, like The Darkest Minds, like... Sparks fly, it's like electricity, I might die. Where Hands Touch is about a biracial German girl falling in love with a Nazi. Now, if that doesn't make you want to watch it, I freaking don't know what will. <laughs> um, I watched the first couple of minutes of it to get the idea of it. It's kind of weird. I just don't understand the person that like decided to make this and was like, yeah, that is that is brilliant. It's not even it's not a true story. It's based off of historical events as we know, you know, as we know the historical events. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent on it, but you know what? I'm going to give it a try. We're going to watch it today and we're going to we're going to see how it goes. It's actually on Hulu, guys. So if you want to watch Where Hands Touch, um check it out. It's on Hulu. Move aside. We are looking for the girl. You know, we're going to get some German accents in this. I don't know how to do a German accent, so I can't contribute to the party. <laughs> Where hands touch. <gasps> She's not white. Gas. That is shocking. I like how they did it in slow motion to be like dramatic. dramatic. We have a new girl joining us today. Her name is Lena Schlegel. 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 So how does a girl like you come to have a name so Germanic as Schlegel? I don't know, dumb bitch. Have some common sense. Or is it love at first sight? She actually is beautiful. Actually, what? Nobody saw us either. Who are you? You look like the dad from Rugrats. He looks like Chucky's dad from the Rugrats. Idiot! Kirsten, I want you to understand. I have nothing against you. Well, that sounds like you do. Some bread, please, Gunther. How are you? Good? Settling in? I miss home. Hmm. Bread boy. Oh, bread so boys all look the same yeah, in every movie. <laughs> Who's the superior bread boy? Peter Malark? Or Gunter. Bro, he looks like he got a fucking mullet on. Uh, not a mullet on, a toupee. A mullet? The law says you must go. But where you are going, they will teach you many things. Oh dang, one of her brother turns that's on her. That's that's rough. Right? I hope, Cohen, that you choose never to forget this. That you keep what I teach you. In here. Oh, I, in, I thought it was gonna be in your heart. Yeah. Oh yes, in the heart, in the brain, in the heart, in the mind, in the soul. Earth, wind, fire. Oh yes, he's becoming a little Nazi. How fun. Oh. I don't know where the jokes are okay on this. Like, what's the line? Oh, oh shit, he ran her ass Lena, over. I think we need to get you home so we can clean these rooms. Man, she messed up. Look at her face. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. That like makes me feel like that. Like, oh. Leave your books. You won't need them anymore. And take your bag. Whoa, why is she running like that? She got kicked out of school, bro. We learned here at home. Yes, homeschool rights. I'll tell you that. Welcome to the homeschool she club, girl. You followed us home. I wanted to know if you were alright. I am. Okay, Edward fucking Colin. Dude, calm down. I'll see you. Adios. What's your name? I'm not telling you, Nazi boy. He looks like he could be like a Cody or like a, a Ryan. Comrades that I ate with, 
slept with, pissed with, they died for nothing. Do you understand me? For nothing! Oi, gee, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> you cannot make a difference. It's not true. We can't back down. We can't. We can't back down. We can't. We can't back down. You know what? All of Camp Rock 2 has a more, like, it has a better message than this movie. It does. This movie, I don't even know where it's going. This song does not slap. We can't, we can't back down. Does she want to become a Nazi? Well, I don't understand what she wants. She just wants to be like the normal, because she's like, I just want to be normal like everyone else. I want to be a Nazi, you know? <coughs> oh my goodness, we got a lurker. <coughs> Ooh. My father, he has a gramophone. He hides jazz records, but I've heard them playing quietly. Nega music. Isn't that what it's called? I don't even know what to say. When we're in a friendly situation, my conversation might not be smart. <laughs> what? It's called a heart to heart. This is supposed to be romantic. On the cover of one of the magazines, there's a lady. She's just like you, kind of. Beautiful. Kind of. Never put a kind of in front of a compliment. It kind of just like dismisses the whole thing. It doesn't really validate the compliment. I just have to be careful. Like my father. What the heck? Why is he throwing sticks? Y'all are weirdos. What the hell? We, I've got to go. I literally, I have to go. Now we're, we're heading into Twilight territory right now. Have you ever been up there? Oh my God, hop on Spider Monkey. Now I know where they got their inspo for the movie. Twilight. You're always here. Outside the factory. Yeah, because he's stalking you. Because he's fucking creepy. And you, you're you dumb dumb for going out with him. That's what you are. You're a little dumb dumb. I've lost my gloves. Oh, is he gonna do. Go. Oh. I thought he was gonna. This is. Oh, because their hand. Where hands touch, I get it. Lots of touching of the hands. Go crazy! Ah! Stupid. Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god, and their hands are touching and their lips are touching. That is so scandalous, bro. Why does he stand like he got a stick up his butt? He's standing like like not just like with good posture, but like he literally has something up his butt. Jeez. Oh my god, cheese! Maybe you could enjoy it with Cohen. We got some cheese, dog. That is so romantic. Oh my god, he got you cheese. My favorite's Gouda. I like Gouda too. <laughs> Black is gold like Lena. <laughs> I'm about to beat this bitch up. Oh jeez! Oh my god, that's. A good soldier should have honor. Whoa! He literally. <laughs> He literally just pulled his ass out, slammed in the floor, and shoved dirt in his mouth. Bro. Just some, you know, boyfriend and brother bonding time. Do you still love me? No. Told you. He was- he turned on you. You're gay! I hate girls! He's gay? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is going on? What a change in the plot. I'll tell you that. Should I be you or not? <laughs> he fucking turned around. He said, Talk to the hand. Talk talk to it. Sit down. Is that an order, sir? Soldier? Is that an order? Let's have a dance, shall we? Ooh. We can dance. We can dance if we want to. We can move out on the down. What is that from? We can dance if we want to. We can leave the old friends behind. They're, you're not dancing. You're holding each other. That's not dancing. Germany will be calm again. 
I fucking hate this. Like, with all my might. Where hands touch. That's right. That's right. Let's get as many shots of their hands as we can so the title actually makes sense. Ew, isn't that his dad's office? Are they really gonna have sex in his dad's office? Seems a little weird, but... Ugh. On the floor, dude? Literally on the floor? That is some Twilight stuff right there. Are you kidding me? Oh jeez, this is awful. I- Can you believe I'm actually watching this? I can't believe it. You know what, we're gonna skip this cause I don't- I- We're not showing this on my channel. They literally used a rug as a blanket. Oh my god, that is- Y'all suck. This movie is- What? That's the curfew. Oh my god, you gotta be- You horny little monsters. Couldn't check the time? This is really how they get around. They just track each other. Oh, that was so romantic. <laughs> when he throws his ring at you. Your love is not turning. Not. He missed already. He was summoned to duty. Summoned? I was summoned. What? Why? What? Look, look, a woman is running away! Oh damn, she threw her ass under the bus. She said every man for himself, bro. I'm saving my ass today. <laughs> oh, she got caught anyways. Jeez. Is she gonna reunite with her boyfriend somewhere? You a partisan? No. I love Germany. I love Germany. I heart Germany. Your stomach is round. It's snowing. Dang, those are some chunky snowflakes. No, they're not snowflakes. What are they? Oh, it's pieces of paper. Oh, it's ashes. It's ashes. It's soot. I thought it was snow for a second. No, girl, that's ashes. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. How about that? Hear me now. It hurts. You will get used to it. Oh my li- I literally just got that she was pregnant. When she said her stomach was round, I literally just thought she was calling her fat. Okay, I get it. She pregnant with the Nazi baby. Come on. <gasps> Oh my god. Reunited and it feels so bad because we're in a camp. Stop! Dang, that's an abuse of power, dog. You look pale, are you sick? He literally sounded like he was from New York. You look pale, are you sick? It will get you good shoes. I think I should look after it for you until tomorrow. I will look after the golden potato for you. I will. <laughs> that literally- Oh my god, that literally looks like that time Josh from Drake and Josh dropped a weight on his toe from Drake when Drake shot a potato at him with a potato gun. Oh my god, it all connects. Foot injuries always come from potatoes. What about the baby? Tell us about the baby. We need to know more about the baby. Oh my god, he's feeling her baby. I last held you six months ago. Oh my god, we have a detective over here. I'm having a really hard time telling every single Nazi apart. I have. They literally all look the same. I cannot tell not one of them apart. You told me we are not heroes. What you should have said is that we are cowards. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Now that's tea. What a tiny, tiny little gun. It looks like a water gun, but it will not treat you like a water gun. I'll tell you that. Shoot her. I'm gonna kill your girlfriend's best friend. <gasps> Or perhaps you want to go now. 
he his German turns into like a weird like Boston New York type accent. He's like, "Or should you go now?" I don't know who will reach here first, but I can't. I don't know who. I that's turning Australian. You want me to put it back in the prisoners' barracks? You want me to put it back? Don't make me choose for you. Don't make me choose for you. Lena! Lena! Yes! I'm here! Lena! Are they Lena! on like... Where are they? Are they like on the opposite Lena! sides of like the whole Lena! campground? Bro. Lena! Lena! Oh my god. Someone's gonna die. The father's gonna shoot someone. The father's gonna shoot him. <gasps> I fucking called it, dude. Oh. Dude, you Boston German dad. Are you fucking crazy? She made it to the USA? It's a party in the USA? Ils disent que vous êtes de la Rhénanie. Je ne parle pas allemand. Parlez-vous français? Parlez-vous français? Comment vous appelez-vous? French with an American accent sounds like The Sims. Wara ufa monorex, rimpy fervor perbidet. Later! Oh my god! <laughs> the brother's like, dinner for two? Nah, no, that's where it is. Where hands touch. Those are the only hands touching that matters. I feel like I like I didn't say anything over this like two hours. I said like little tiny jokes. I didn't want to take anything too far and cross lines because there is a line to be crossed when it comes to things like this, especially because it is such a serious topic and a very sensitive topic because so many people were affected by it. I think this movie could have been really good if it didn't have to revolve around the romance between the two of them. I think it really took out some of the aspects of it that was very serious and, you know, impactful in a way, but it kind of ruined it with the romance. I think that it definitely played into this weird, like, love story like it kind of fed into like a teen genre like a typical teen genre romance when i feel like it could have been a really impactful film of um a black german girl in you know in the 40s like, it was really like a weird like fan fiction like that's what it felt like like oh like fan fiction nazi and black girl forbidden love like that's what it felt like it didn't feel like some great film to highlight this time and what was really going on it just felt like some weird fan fiction if anything i said in this offends you i'm very sorry it wasn't my intention to offend anybody with anything that i said um i was just i knew this movie was talked about a lot on twitter um, and no one went to go see it, so I wanted to see it for myself to see what it was all about. I think it definitely just didn't feel like a movie that was actually highlighting something important. It felt like some weird- it's- it seemed like watching it, it was just some girl who had like fantasized about a forbidden love. Um, in Germany. Yeah. So that was my commentary on Where Hands Touch. Uh, like I said, this is no way to make fun of, you know, everything that happened. I'm making fun of the movie, not what actually happened. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm really not making fun of what happened. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Um, leave more movie requests in the comment section down below. Um, we got Mocking J Part 2 coming, we got the Scorch Trials, um, and many more, many more planned for the future. But I want to know what you guys want. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!